Oh uh, yeah. So I'm guessing you can hear the chickens. You know, you might be wondering what this is in case you can't read the title. But I'm gonna tell you. This is structure. And sadly, it's made out of the Chickens. These chickens are not going to last very long because as soon as they're going to have a short run, as soon as they grow up, they're going to die by this fire. And now, the way they're going to die, where they're going to die is not there. And I'll show you what I mean. So, up here, you basically where you hold the chickens and hatch new chickens. I'll get this set up for later. So, in here, you put eggs in each dispenser. You put as many as you want. I had one stack of 16 in each dispenser for these chicken grains. So, there's quite a lot down there. Just from one stack in each dispenser, which is eight stacks in total. Sure, it's going to be a good harvest. And right now, I am an inferior. I'll most likely make this a massive harvest as well. But now, I need more eggs. Um, but for now, I'll keep it here so I can show you the gap. What these dispensers do is basically be set onto a crop, which will this crop here. So it keeps spinning out eggs and putting chickens down there, and since it doesn't damage chickens, they won't die. And down there, you can see by the glass that there's a fence gate there. Which is on the chicken room, and if it's open, the new mob AI will make, they will look for an open to get out. So that I can down here, and down here, and try to get through there. But when I go down there, I close. So the station. So guys, um, I'll be back when they are all fully grown, so I can show you an example. Alright, uh, guys. So I've been testing this. I didn't work too well with the week, but I changed it around a bit. Now, now thanks, guys. Yeah, I'll be able to remove the first one of the gates, but you still have one on the top, so they can't get out if you want it like this. Because I've tested this, uh, you can see by the chickens, nice. I have the option of being 
know how to do it. See now they all just jump in and they all do stay there. So that works now. From it was that it was down two blocks. When they're on the when they're on the fire, they would get stuck on the fire. So I'll be here spraying now. Chickens have run down and stop at the fire. I don't know why they stay there when a prayer is there, but they don't stop when they are walking. I don't know. But since it's only one down now, they will fall. They'll keep walking and falling now. So that works fine. So you've seen the harvest now. Some of it. Now I can show you the wild. I'll just show you these. So, it's really this one now because it tells the top defense gate if you want to have that or not. You don't have to. I'll show you how to. Um, so, I'll show you here. There's the switch. That's that piece of redstone right next to me. That's turned off this. So, this can't really all be off. And it could turn the torch on. And this is what you call a draw. What happens is the current will go to all these expenses, shooting out one. But this is where the mechanic is. So this is going to be on two sides of the now. Two, um, this one does you need to carry the current onto this repeater, goes into the block. So, to show you what I mean, I'll quickly turn that switch off. So, all you see is this port here clicking, right? The reason that is, this torch will be current to this repeater, and these two, and that. So they will all get current. When this one gets the current, it goes into the block. And when there's a current in a block, it will turn the torches off. So if the torch turns off, it stops getting power beams. It will stop it from being off, and it will turn it back on. It keeps turning on and off. It's that simple. Six block redstone I can about it. So it will keep clicking on off, it will cause these expenses to keep going and going and going. So there are no exits. Next is that one, which is the actual burner. This is only one giant redstone, so there's no effect when they're walking. So that is there, gets the power from the um, switch. Goes down here to this block there, which you can see below here. There's a fence gate on top of it, so it will open the fence gate around the chicken store. Make sure you have that closed when there is no power line for it. Or else. It'll be the other way around, obviously. Next, I'm sure you should know this. Is. But there's a pressure break there. The chickens are able to walk out when that fence gate is open. They will step on this pressure break. And what that does is it sends the power of the down here to this torch. This torch will turn off the power to the piston, bring this block in, and that will fall into a hole. That hole will be too deep, so they will not be able to get back up. And I can just say trap in that little gap. Here, there's the prison. They'll 
fall down here since there's two blocks at the end of the hill. So that would be trapped here until I burn the deck. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you got it, then you can watch the new one and give me a like or a sub and it would help me get it.